Jeremy, well, this is severe weather awareness week. We may not have to worry about it much for tonight, but tomorrow you will be urged to practice your plans. Dusty Nichols is Shawnee County Emergency Management Director, and he is with us with a look at what this week all entails. We appreciate you being here. Oh, thanks. I love coming on. In yeah. a nutshell, <laughs> overall, what is the goal with Severe Weather Awareness Week? Uh, well, to be aware. Uh, of we do live in that part of the, the country where we get severe weather, and if you're from here, like most of the probably viewers are, uh, been here for a while. Uh, this is the time of the year between April and June. We're going to get the, the severe weathers, uh, commonly known as uh, tornado season. So uh, we, there's a lot of stuff that comes with those storms, but uh, that's what we want to be aware of. There is a lot that comes with it, and that's why you have a different focus every day of the week. We so do. what is today? Today is preparedness. Okay. So we want to take a chance um, and, and talk to your family and make some plans, uh, communication plans. Uh, if you lose power, what are you going to do? All those are things that could be associated with a storm. Uh, whether it's evacuation or just losing communication. How do you come back together? How do you reuni reunite with your family? Um, what to do when storm strikes? So if you uh, hear a tornado siren, uh, what do you do? And do you go to a basement? If you're at work, where do you go? Test those things out which leads us to tomorrow. Right, but also in the, in the realm of preparedness, we do want to remind people the WIBW weather app, the weather radios, true. making sure your batteries are ready to go and that they're programmed correctly, all of that stuff. Correct. Goes into preparedness. Yeah, and having backup systems, that's a good point. Uh, having multiple systems to give the warning. So, um, of course, local radio and, and TV is the, definitely the way to go, but uh, the phone apps um, or any kind of uh, indicator, have, even if it's a friend calling you because you're sleeping during the day, mm -hmm. have multiple ways to get the warning. But this leads into tomorrow, which is tornadoes. Tornado. And there's a big, a big thing happening tomorrow. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Uh, locally here, uh, the statewide tornado drill. So, uh, the National Weather Service is going to sound off their alerts. You have to have your radio on. It's just not going to bust through like mm -hmm. a normal alert. So, uh, but they're going to sound the, their warning. We will sound our sirens as long as it's not overcast. We don't want to freak anybody out who's not paying complete attention. So it really attention. depends when that when that rain moves in tomorrow morning. Right. If it's cloudy or if it's kind of touch and go, we're not going to sound our sirens. But at 10 o'clock, if you're um, thinking about it, hear it on the radio, or this is a test, take a chance. At least take a minute to sit there and think, what am I going to do? If this was a tornado, what am I going to do? Um, if you own a business, we'd like to see you, you know, exercise those plans, move to those locations and make sure you have enough room. And there is something new but old that's going to happen this severe weather season when it comes to the sirens and when there is an actual warning, who will hear yeah. them and when they'll hear them. We've been doing this, uh, we've testing this for the past couple of years. Um, and then earlier this year, we had a storm in Auburn. Uh, it didn't go quite the way we wanted to, so we backed it up a little bit. We will sound our sirens because the National Weather Service will put out a warning for all of Shawnee County. Uh, the but way the, we used to do it, we'd sound every siren in the county. Uh, what, then what we're doing now, because we have the technology, is we're sounding the sirens that are just in the warned area. So it could be just Auburn area or just south of 75. It could be very specific um, polygons is what they call mm -hmm. it, or lanes or fans. You might see it on, on, the, on the TV screen once in a while. But we can sound the sirens just in those warned areas. But uh, we can't do that transition very quickly. Uh, just because of the education. So yeah, so you're doing the, the very specific siren sounding and then people right. were like, well, wait a minute, you said there was a warning in Shawnee County and we never heard the sirens, right. what's going on? So and you're kind of taking confusing. a step back. Yeah, we're taking a step back. So our first siren sound will be the entire county. Okay. Uh, and it, those sirens run on a three, three, uh, three minute burst. So we hit the button and it'll sound for three minutes. So if it's at night, it'll wake people up, pay attention to the weather. Um, if you um, or hear anything past that, all the follow on sirens from that point on until the, the, um, the all clear is given, if you will, through the National Weather Service, um, will be just in the warned area. So the initial sounding will be for the entire county. After that, it will be the specific just the polygon. Area. Real correct. quick, what are the other themes for the rest of the days in these last 30 seconds? Uh, that's a good question. So we, we have <laughs> thunderstorms one day, we have wind and hail, and Friday is flooding, definitely flooding. Uh, and then lightning safety is on, on Thursday. So. And what's the big deal uh, about we'll flooding Excuse in particular? Me. Because we, we do want people to yeah, be aware that flooding is actually a bigger deal than people think. It is. Flood's actually a, a higher threat, if you will, a higher hazard in our local area. We lose more people to flooding than we do uh, any of these other threats uh, every year. So turn around, don't drown. Uh, and if you live in a flooded area, make sure you have insurance, make sure you have those plans and evacuation plans. Uh, but the biggest thing is when you get a warning, between a watch and a warning, a watch is just watching. You're just watching. Like people are watching now, this is a watch. <laughs> warning is we're telling you to do something. Move, move, move. It's what's, a warning. What's the meme that we see? A taco watch is when you have the lettuce <laughs> the and the cheese and the meat exactly. and the shells. A taco warning is when you have an actual it's taco compiled. Exactly. So that's always fun to remember. I appreciate sure. you being here, Dusty. Remember, Thank you. 10 o'clock tomorrow, tornado drill practice. Exactly. Economic leaders want to connect Washburn to the community. Hear about their new effort to do that next.